Hey, Hope City Church, this is Pastor Jason, and I'm here with another update about our church's schedule and strategy for regathering together in person. Now, as you know, we haven't been able to gather together since March the 12th. Can you believe that? And due to COVID and government regulations, we just weren't able, but we're seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. Now, currently, our state government regulations require no more than 10 people in a social gathering. And while churches are allowed to have more than 10, we're supposed to follow an exhaustive list of guidelines. And most importantly, we are not able to offer our kids classes. Now, based on everything we've read, starting June 15th, we can have kids classes in a limited capacity. And then starting June 29th, we can have 50 people together in a social gathering. So we're getting close to, to being able to offer in-person services in a way that feels feasible to us. And that's why so far we've been encouraging you to, to participate in watch parties. And a lot of you have been doing in that. So hopefully it's been great. Now, while we can't wait to be together, we have said from the beginning that our two biggest concerns are safety and the ability to have services that are powerful and inspirational. And we're feeling much better regarding the safety of our Hope City family because like you, we're seeing other churches, businesses, and even protesters gather together. And most of the medical news coming out of that is really positive. But unfortunately, the government guidelines still don't allow us to have gatherings in a way that we feel best serves the church. For example, if we had service this upcoming weekend, technically, we are recommended to take your temperature when you arrive, ask you to wear masks, keep you spaced out at least six feet apart, only allow one person in the bathroom at a time and not exceed 33% of our auditorium. And this would require us to have as many as five services or more. And again, not offer kids classes. And we just don't feel like this is the best plan of action. And we know that there are other churches who are already meeting. And in some cases they've decided to, to disregard the guidelines and we don't judge them for that. We believe every leader and every church need to do what they believe is right for their church. But for us, we're just still in that waiting process. Now, that being said, we will not be having in-person gatherings in the month of June. Now, of course, this is all fluid. Everything could change tomorrow. It's very day to day, but as of now, this is the plan. But it's not all bad news, okay? I do have some good news. Um, and here's the good news, that we will have our first event together on July the 4th, okay? We're gonna host a fun family outdoor event with games and fireworks on the backfield behind the South Louisville location, and we're inviting everyone who feels safe and comfortable to come out and join us because it's gonna be a good time. Now, my hope is that we can start having in-person services again in July, and we're gonna keep you updated with all the latest information, and we hope to see you at our 4th of July event in a few weeks. Now, one more exciting thing happening at the church is our annual Bless Back project. That's happening on July 25th. And of course, it's gonna look a little bit different this year, but we're still providing supplies and resources and hope for families needing help going back to school. So as always, if you have any questions, you can reach out to the church or your campus pastor. And if you need any help during this time, you can email care at realhopenow.com. I love you. I can't wait to see you. Hopefully I'll see you July 4th. If not, I'll see you when we get back together. God bless.